Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Come to drop off some coinage. Major coin. It'll even buy you some Z's. <laughs> Time to make a radical withdrawal. No! You know, crime doesn't pay. <laughs> you gotta be kidding! Out of my face, choir boy! Ah! Oh, jeez! I'm dissolving! Clark, help me! Huh? Wait a second. Leave him alone! What the? That kid changed, just like me. They must be Ultras. I gotta find out where they came from. Come on, we gotta get you back to Dr. Gross. Dr. Gross? Your Dr. Gross has created a rare confection. Gotta follow those kids. What kids? The ones that disappeared in the sewer. Forget them. But they're. We've gotta get these people out of the bank before the whole place caves in. Do it! Are you all right? I think so. Hey, how'd you know my name? Oh, uh, I, uh... Come here. I want to talk to you. Hard case, those kids were... Listen good, pal. There's more to this ultra hero gig than flexing your muscles and saving girls. You gotta think before you act. Otherwise, you're just another one of the problems. Problems? Forget you, hard case. You don't know the first thing about problems. This Dr. Gross guy. I gotta find him. Kid gets worse every day. Kid? Prime? You treat him like he was a 13-year-old. If you only knew. So much for finding this Dr. Gross guy! What? Prime is looking for me? Is it not bad enough I'm forced to dwell in the sewers? Relying on bunglers to provide the funding for my experiments. Dr. Gross, look! His arm, it's leaking. The green goo. Goo! Could it be? 
Could it be that Prime is a product of one of my early experiments? Some of the children were rescued by their parents before the results could be tested. If only my records had not been destroyed! I must obtain a sample of Prime's genetic material. Oh no. Not now. He's leaving. We must find out where he goes. Don't just sit there. You know what to do. Fire the tracking dart! <coughs> oh man, it's late. I gotta get back to school. And did you see the way Prime, like, looked at me? Like he really cared. Kelly. Kevin? You play soccer? Uh, hi, Kelly. Are you okay? I, I heard you uh, got caught in an ultra battle downtown. I'm fine, thanks to Prime. He was totally, like, amazing. He's so cool. All right, Prime. You big dummy, where'd you go? Where's that stupid tracking dart? Aha! Goo's still wet. He must be close. Aw, oh, man! He's probably in that group of kids. But which one? Okay, number eight. Let's flush him out. Go get a snack. So, uh, you like Prime then? Why, you jealous? I mean, Prime, seven feet of buff, studly ultra muscle. Who'd be jealous of him? Too soon! Ah! Kelly! Come on, Prime, you ultra geek! If that big ugly quest bucket even thinks about touching her! Be right back. It's prime time! Yeah! Ugh. You okay, Kelly? Let me take you home. Uh, yeah, sure, Prime. Hmm. Prime called that girl by name. Could it be that Dr. Gross's handsome, perfect prime creation has a weak spot for that girl? This is perfect! Follow him, number eight. Ew, yuck. Oh, not that blob again. Stay right here, okay? Naughty, naughty, blob boy. Take it easy, kids. Prime's got everything under control. Right, Kelly? Kelly? Kelly! Kelly! Prime! Help! Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Questioned the security guard, and the last thing he remembered was two kids and something about a pink pig. And I found this in the debris. Hey, I had a bank like this when I was a kid. Ooh-wee, this one's seen some bad times. Yeah, and? Ah, uh, our nation's best and brightest. Street grunge. Biggest ambition? Slash the tires on their truant officers 4x4. Four They've been subjected to heavy genetic experimentation. Real scary stuff. I heard Prime mention uh, Dr. Gross. How appropriate. Dig up whatever you can on this Dr. Gross. If this guy's experimenting on kids, we've got to find him and shut him down. Kelly! Kelly! Ah! I've got to find her. Hey. It's going into the sewer. Just like those kids. 
I bet if I follow, it'll lead me to Kelly and Dr. Gross. I found something. Dr. Vincent Gross was a geneticist doing experimental government research. Considered a genius with rogue tendencies, 12 years ago his funding was cut off. I wonder why. Experimental atrocities. He's obviously still at it, somewhere. These young criminals are undoubtedly providing the doctor's funding. If we pinpoint all the bank robbery locations... Maybe we can determine where he set up his lab. I love it when you play detective. Looks familiar. Yep. That's the prime cut, all right. A secret door. Hmm. No bell. Guess I'll have to knock. Ding dong! Kelly! Kelly, are you okay? She can't hear you. <laughs> Look at him. What an awesome specimen. Look, I don't know what you're up to, but Prime's taking those kids out of here now! My dear Prime, these are my children. And I might add, so are you. What?! Why, you... They're not in the legal sense, perhaps. But I did contribute certain genetic material, which does give me a certain paternal claim. Hmm? Oh, yes. Inside that brawny, goo-formed body is a 13-year-old boy, is there not? One of my long-lost early experiments. Just like Dewey there, my first. Only he didn't work out quite so well, did you, Dewey? I have always done my best. Of course, dear lad. Certainly not your fault. I swear. You touch those kids and you're... That didn't hurt. Those neurodisruptors should hold you while I take the necessary sample of your genetic material. Calm down, dear boy. This shan't hurt either. Now, to inject the prime material in a couple of select subjects. You two, inside, now! Not till you deliver the green stuff you promised. And I don't mean the gooey kind. You'll get your money. Must I use organism number eight to persuade you? Okay! Okay! okay. <laughs> Success is imminent, Dewey. I feel it! Here are all the bank robbery locations. Gross's lab must be somewhere in this area. Those delinquents escaped down what you call a manhole. The sewers. Let's go! <laughs> what a moment, Dewey! Who knows what this next generation can evolve into? No! Yeah, not bad, Doc. Such raw energy. Aren't they magnificent, Dewey? Yeah! So primitive, so undisciplined. I love them! Ah! Ah! Yeah! Kelly! <sighs> Lost break free! All right, Doc, it's their turn. You guys gonna love being like us. <sighs> Hold on. Hard case said, gotta think first. Prime can't break free, but Kevin could. <laughs> They're not so handsome as Prime, but still more success than I had with you, eh, Dewey? Perhaps with a larger sample from Prime. <laughs> He's here someplace. Find him! With pleasure. <laughs> Wonderful! A bigger sample, a better, more advanced prime! Gotta get Ultra Force here and warn Contra. <gasps> Dr. Gross so loves his handsome, wonderful prime! When I'm done with you, you won't be handsome or wonderful! Gotta be strong, get my primal energy back! Gotta be strong! Gotta get... No! Huh? No! Gotta work on my entrances. Nice work you do here, Gross. Take a last look, because as of now, you're out of business. Bravo! Bravo! 
You should really stick to acting, hard case. You're completely out of your league. Children, say hello to our guests. <laughs> and I thought I got a bad impression. <laughs> Genetically unstable. Can't retain shape. Deteriorating. My sample was too small. Quick, my children, back into the chamber. Tough luck, babe. He checked out. <laughs> checked out, huh? Well, Prime's checking back in. If I have enough strength left, I'll be able to do it. Run, help! Like football? First lesson. This is called a pass. And this is called a foul! Why you? Uh, no, no, you really don't want to... Ah! <laughs> Timing, Prime. A minute earlier would have been preferable. Prime? Ah! You guys like football? I'll show you a pass that'll bust all records. Uh-uh. Not the kids. This is between you and... Hey. Your kids, too. All right. I'm getting these other kids out of here. But you will stay right here till I come back. Understood? Let's get out of here! It appears we've finally located the nefarious Dr. Gross. Sweet dreams, guys. Wait, hard case! Gross made them into these creatures. But there's still just kids inside. Relax, guys. Prime will save you. It's okay. I told you it'd be okay. Man, I, I just want to go home. You're not going anywhere, you interfering fool. I shall destroy you all! Help! Someone! Help me! I'm here, Dr. Gross! I'll save you! Let's get these kids out of here. A prime suggestion. Take care of that ankle, Kelly. Thanks, Prime. See ya! You're good with kids. You know where they're coming from, obviously. Yeah. Before, I didn't know what Prime was about. But now I do. Prime's about kids. Not a bad thing for the world's strongest ultra to stand for. Come on, let's get these other kids home. A catastrophe, Dewey. My body. I'm a blob. An unstable blob in a bucket. I'll be here for you, Father. No matter how you look. I've seen you look better, Gross. General Samuels, you sanctimonious swine! You deserted me! Come off it, Gross. I kept you out of jail. <clears throat> so. How'd you like your old job back? But this time, with Aladdin. Very hush-hush. Secret lab. Unlimited funding. 
Any experiments I want? Anything. <laughs> Old oh, Dewey, my boy. We're back in business. <laughs> Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Touching the remote. Amazing adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing adventures will be right back. This device of yours removes the part of the brain that controls the Ultra's powers. And you can implant those neurons into any Ultra? Perfect. You have a deal. Now I don't want anyone's brain but his. Understood? Cosmic will be on top again. <laughs> and Hardcase won't have enough strength to pick up an Oscar. <laughs> Enough of this lip pressing. Mm, I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Me too. Cut! Great rehearsal! You two go for final touch-up, and then we'll shoot one. Good. We get to do it again. The Queen of Gwendor was promised scenes of great battles. Ah, uh, yeah. Be right back. How could people pay to watch this drivel? If you only knew. Hard case! Ah! I've been looking for you! No need to trash the set. Let's take this to the parking lot. <laughs> parking lot's all that's gonna be left when I'm done with you! No! No! Now this is worth watching. It's not the movie, Topaz. No? Why didn't you say so? If I were you, I'd stay here, where it's safe. You, madam, are most definitely not me.
Got a surprise for you, head case. Mine's better. Freeze, puny male, or suffer the wrath of the Queen of Gwendor! Go back to your Hercules movie, babe. I am not a babe. Topaz, no! Extract the blow! Topaz! Topaz, are you okay? Ah! No man touches the Queen of Gwendor. Guess the answer is yes. There goes head knockers. 15 seconds of fame. Make that 20! Bronchioles, constrict. I can't... You did that, didn't you? You're not just another pretty face. You're an ultra. Not really. Not like you and Hardcase. Unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that. What could have... <sighs> Please, Hardcase, take me to my trailer. I do not understand. Was Vale wounded in battle? You really are from another planet. <gasps> vale, are, are you okay? I... I must have fainted. I haven't eaten all day. How about we get a bite? Well, I just had lunch and you should rest. Stomach hydrochloric acid. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that little rumble with Headknocker made me so hungry. Mm, forget him. I want to hear about you, Tom. No! No! I swear, use that mind control thing on me one more time. Oh, shut up! What do you mean? I almost finished off her case. I thought that's what you wanted! I've got a bad feeling about Vale. Call it a hunch. Call it baloney. Hardcase, Ghoul thinks she's an Ultra and caused Headknocker's seizure. As a warrior, I question why she didn't stop Headknocker earlier when she could have. So what if she's an Ultra? A lot of Ultras don't want anybody to know. Whoa. Whoa. Rat. Ultra or no, she's got a powerful effect on him. Like to take it out for a spin? Maybe another time. I've got five pages of dialogue to learn tonight. Testosterone increase. You know, Hardcase, my latest film premieres tonight, and I would love you to be my date. Say you'll take me, come on. Sure. Why not? <laughs> I haven't been to one of those since... Since what, Tom? You need to drop me by my place to change. I need to make one more stop. I'll be right back. Hey there, gorgeous. How's my lovely Linda today? It's been two years since... since the squad.
Sniper's! met someone. She's an actress. <laughs> yeah, I know what you think of actresses. But this one's different. I just wanted you to know. Bye, Starburst. Starburst. Is this a surprise? These two lovebirds have sure been keeping one sizzler of a secret. Defeating Atalon, thwarting Rune. That is news. This, this is... Uh, glisten button. Eek. Sounds like a skin condition I caught six feet under. You know how to use this? Not really. Don't drip any gross stuff on the keyboard, ghoul. Well, Pix, hello. <gasps> Pix is alive? I programmed the computer to be sentient and gave it all my memories. And I gave it form and personality. So what's your problem, besides your face, I mean? <laughs> I need to know about an ultra named Vale. That's it? Sinchi. Vale, a.k.a. Dr. Heather Crane. Wait a second. Beach Blanket Bimbo has a degree in medicine? Ultra powers, biotelepathy, limited invisibility. Biotelepaths can control other people's senses, their nervous system, even the brain. So that's how she got hard case tied up in knots. Hmm. I can't access a classified part of her file. Pix, can you do it? Not now, ghoul. Hard case must be warned. No telling what that vixen plans for him. Well, good night. Preoptic nucleus, sleep. Oh. oh, tired so soon? Here, let me help you. Take him to my lab. Prep him for surgery. <laughs> I'll prep him all right. Don't even think about it. Once I remove his ultra-neural sensor, then he's all yours. <laughs> Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. I can't wait to work you over, hard case. Put him down, head knocker. Knocker, you monster! How dare you break into my house! Thank goodness the Ultra Force is here. What? What kind of game are you playing? Adrenals, fear. Uh, uh, uh! Oh. What happened? What are you doing here? Veil's a biotelepath, hard case. She's been controlling your senses. <laughs> I'm dead, honey. My organs don't even respond for me anymore. Tom, are you all right? Do not be misled by her. She's beguiled you with her powers. And what if I have? I would do anything to get close to you. I... I love you. Oh, wow. What a performance. Does she have a shot at the Oscars? That's it, guys. The lady doesn't need this abuse. Look, I'm sorry about this. I think I'll call it a night, too. But hard case? No! Your week is up. Don't make any more excuses. Deliver hard case's neural center now. You don't seem to understand. I've got every penny riding on this, a $50 million ad campaign, and everything depends on introducing Cosmic Studios' new ultra superstar starting next week. Cosmic has to trample Metropolitan into dog food. If it doesn't, I'm going to be back working as a window washer! Patience, Mr. Silk. Patience isn't in my vocabulary! And failure isn't in mine.
Hello? <laughs> it's me, Head Knocker. Check this out. Tom, it's me, Starburst. Linda? Is it really you? Yes, Tom. It is me. And I have so much... Ah! Linda! Hey, movie star. I got failed, too. Be at her house in ten minutes. If you hurt either of them, I swear! I... apologize for my behavior earlier this evening. Yeah, sure. Look, I've got to go. Wait, where? Look, I don't know how, but Headknocker's got Starburst and Veil. Vale. Now, please. Don't be a fool, hard case. You're walking into a trap. Don't get me wrong, Topaz, but the Queen of Gwendor needs to mind her own business. I will not let you leave. What are you going to do? Blast me? She blasted me. Topaz? Topaz! You dig me out of here this instant! Sorry, I can't let you follow me. You're goofing up my computer again. Pix, I've been trying you for hours. I've been trying to crack the classified section of Vale's file. So what did you come up with? Ultra mysteriously loses powers. What's this got? Look closer. Vale. In each instance, she was one of the last people known to associate with these Ultras before they lost their powers. Nobody's been able to pin it on her. But she's a doctor. A neural surgeon. Hold on, Goopster. I'm scanning her phone bill. She's made a lot of calls to some guy named Luther Silk. He's president of Cosmic Studios, Metropolitan's biggest rival. And where Harkies works. That's the connection. Pix, you're a genius. I know. Ghoul, come in. This is Topaz. Meet me at Vale's mansion. Hardcase has completely lost his mind over this viper. Let's hope not. <laughs> Linda? Linda, it is you. Yes, Tom. Thanks to Vale. Vale? That's right, Tom. I should have realized I never had a chance with you. You're still in love with her. That's why I've resuscitated her. For you, Tom. Ah. Stop playing with my head, Vale. What's going on? Hard case. I can revive her permanently with my neural lathe. But I need an Ultra's neural center to transplant into her. You need a donor. She was such a fighter, so spirited. <sighs> Seeing her like this, all right, I'll do it. Hold it, babe. You ain't going nowhere. The Queen of Gwendor needs no invitation. <gasps> Gotta hand it to you, Topaz. Watch it! Let's find Hard Case. You'll be together soon. Away from him, you viper! I warn you, one step closer! Handy, huh? None of that, you! You written at Veltnor! A what? Vale was stealing your powers. Right. I agreed to it. For Starburst. Wrong, pal. For Luther Silk. His studio's been in the red since you made your deal with Metro. He's planning a comeback with your neural center in some other guy's head. 
Heart rate increase force. Blood vessels constrict. Adrenaline pump. One more minute and I'll have it. Shops closed, Doc. Good to see you again, hard case. We need to take Starburst back to the hospital. Not necessarily. I can bring Starburst back. Give me five million bucks and Topaz's Ultra Neuron Center, and you'll have Linda back again. It's only the money you care about. So? You gotta be joking. <gasps> Self-destruct mechanism activated. Detonation set for 05 seconds, 4 seconds, 3 seconds, Two seconds. Goodbye, hard case. One second. You think she made it? Vale? Absolutely. So it didn't work out with Vale. But I realize now I need to start living in the present. The Ultra Force is my family now, Linda. Not the squad. I'll see you. You okay, buddy? I will be. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. one of our friends would hit the big time. Oh, he's so cool. I thought you said he was a geek. I don't know. He's different now. Don't you guys think that's a little weird? I mean, I never saw him hold a guitar until a couple of weeks ago. I know, he's so mysterious. Sorry, I can't stay. I gotta go make up a history test. You know, the one I missed last week when I mysteriously disappeared? Yeah, right. Hey there, JFK! 
Are you ready to rock? The time has come to test my new protege's power. <laughs> Keep it down, please. I'm trying to fail a test. Uh. Huh? Uh-oh. Incoming! That's it! I said, hey, oh, 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 The guitar is giving me a headache and I feel strange. I did it. I really did it. So I'm a nerd, huh? Not anymore. Splendid. And soon, my pawn, you will give me power beyond my darkest dreams. Why did you do this? I don't know. Everybody else was doing it. Good excuse. Man, this is weird. I've got to find some answers. And then, everybody was all confused. Like, they didn't even remember doing it. Clearly the music affected the audience. But how? And why would Mosh make the other kids trash the school? He's not that kind of guy. He's trying to solve a mystery? This ought to be prime. Well, I don't see any answers coming from the walking pile of dust. I'll have you know, my body contains some very complex organic compounds. Thank you very much. Perhaps between the two of you, you can solve this enigma. Us? Together? Are you nuts? Then again, maybe you've got a point. You know, that really doesn't work on me. But I love it when you do it. What can I lose by trying? <laughs> you were there? Didn't you see me at the school? To tell you the truth, when I'm playing, I'm kind of in a world of my own. But there was a riot! I'm told I have that effect on people. Ooh, just look at you! Oh! You feel like a sculpted rump roast. And what's with that corny costume anyway? You really think it's corny? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say you look like a reject from the American Gladiators. Well, it's showtime. <sighs> I have a gift for you. What's wrong with the one I was using before? Regrettably, it's a little past its peak. Our dry run at the high school was a success, but now we must really test your hold over the audience. Why so reluctant? The last time, people almost got hurt. Like they hurt you? 
When they made you an outcast, power like yours is hard to control. Once you master it, they'll love you forever. You really think so? Isn't that what you want? Always been more of a dead. No! Just look at yourself. You look like a dork! Oh, much better. Now you're nothing but a wimp. <gasps> it's prime time for an ultra makeover. Now this is more like it! <laughs> Prime? The name is Rogue Prime. And aren't we the easily led little sheep? Watch your mouth, ghoul. Unless you want to swallow those rotting teeth of yours. Yes. Everything is falling into place. And when the time is right, I will take possession of the very ultra I need. And nothing will stop me from rising to power. They love me. They really, really love me. Something on your mind, big guy? Are you nuts? Uh, guys! <laughs> Between my young pawn and his new guitar, my plan draws ever closer to fruition. Being controlled, Prime! You've gotta fight it! Focus all your powers on the dead one. Just as I suspected. He is immune to my influence. Uh, uh, no, you know, destroy the dead one. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. You're a dead man, dead man. That's right, cool. Run! What are you doing? Stop playing now. You're the boss. What are you waiting for? Do it! Whoa! Oh, what a rush. Are you all right? Yeah. Well, I'm not. What were you thinking, you... you... hyper-thyroid gorilla? What are you talking about? This is rock and roll. They were being controlled, you lummox. And so were you. I like the music. What's wrong with that? Gee, Prime, I don't know. You tell me. They always try to order me around, trying to control me. I'm mystified by your tone of voice. I was only doing it for you. Yeah, right. Find yourself another puppet. I'm gone. Try thinking for yourself for a change. Are you done lecturing? Normally, I'm a vegetarian, but I could really go for some prime rib. See you later, Mr. Dead Person. Trying to work with that pinhead. I ought to have my head autopsy. Whitney Richards, LAPD. I'm heading a task force designed to deal with ultras. 
I wasn't aware we needed to be dealt with. Based on the riot that started when he played at that high school, I think this Mosh is an Ultra, using some sort of power over the crowd. And I'm guessing last night's ruckus only confirms your theory. The only problem is, I have no hard evidence, and my little theories wouldn't hold up in court. Well, if this is an Ultra situation, I think we can handle it. Ultras have no authority to take the law into their own hands. Besides, you may want to have somebody looking out for you. With all due respect, we can look out for ourselves. You were saying? Why did you call me here? I already told you, I'm through. Isn't it a little early for Halloween? Oh, oh Lord Pummington. <laughs> My eyes were playing tricks on me. I was just reconsidering your client's recording contract with our company. He deserves more, much, much more. Would doubling your base pay suffice? I guess so. Now that that's settled, there's one final favor I'd like in return. Mr. Mosh. I'm afraid I can't allow you to perform tonight. Is there a problem here? You don't want to get mixed up in this, Prime. For the last time, the name is Rogue Prime. And I've had more than my fill of you, ghoul. No! Yeah. No! You got a problem, Missy? <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> I have a gift for you. For your landmark performance. I don't believe it! A special instrument. Heralding a most special event. <laughs> We've got to stop the concert. There's going to be a riot. What makes you think so? Just women's intuition, coupled with the fact that this guy started riots every other time he's played. Sorry, but we have orders not to interfere. Orders? From who? That's right. Prepare them for the change. Soon. So soon, the cosmic alignment will be right. <laughs> Ghoul! Are you alive? I mean, okay? Just peachy. So, you want to go to a concert? Good thing I keep these around for the target range. Won't you need some protection? Being dead seems to have its distinct advantages. All of the pieces are falling into place. In the heavens. And on Earth. Now it's time, people! Rent and rave! The talisman. The minions. The power source! Everything is in place! Now, my children! Now! Welcome to my nightmare! Lord Pumpkin? But Prototype destroyed you! Let's just say... A certain family in Scarsdale had a real bad Halloween. Now, let's get down to business, shall we? <laughs> what? 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 What are you? What are you doing to me? What? What? Hey, it's through! Hey! hey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
That's right. Struggle! For all the good it will do you. The primal goop! It's stopping the change from happening! Alright, pumpkin puss! The show's over! Everybody's a critic. At least the goop protected me from the flames! Whoa. Got out just in time. Your music has prepared them to become the children of Lord Pumpkin. No! What? You never wanted a family? Oh, too weak to change. But Ghoul and everybody else, they're all counting on me. When in doubt, go with what works. Change them back now! Impudent fool! Without ah. me, you are nothing! Utterly powerless! <gasps> Wait a minute. What did Proto say about Pumpkin's powers? That candle in his mouth! Of course! Back for more? Yo, Jacko! Mind if I borrow your lantern? Talk about fruit going bad! Face it, pal. You're out of your gourd. No! Wow. Real fruit filling. Oh, what happened to me? I don't know. But I bet these ultras stopped it. I don't need Lord Pumpkin. I'll show them. I'm Mosh! That thing turns us into monsters? And he wants to party? No! No! Come on! He can't even play! I don't believe it! He's a fake! Get off the stage! Get No! Stop! You can't boo me! I'm Mosh! I'm Mosh! Could someone lend me a hand? Anyone? Oh, much obliged, stranger. The name is Prime. Just Prime. Sorry, kid. There are no shortcuts to the top. Looks like Lord Pumpkin found himself a latent ultra. He has no powers of his own, but just enough dormant energy for the pumpkin to manipulate. And this thing was a focusing element to amplify Mosh's latent powers? I'm not an ultra or a normal person. I don't belong anywhere. Don't worry, kid. I'll take you someplace where you'll get some help. Thanks for your help, ghoul. Anytime, wit. And, uh, call me Jonathan. Uh, Prime. I'm sorry for underestimating your intelligence. What do you say? I tried to crush you. Believe it or not, your smart saved the day. They have actually learned to work together. My ultimate plan is coming together very nicely. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back.
Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Check it out. Jack, let's just go, okay? No problem, babe. I'll be right back. Hey, check this out. Ready, let's get going. I see my meal includes dessert. <laughs> Rune lives once more. Thanks to a lone rune stone that summoned me back to this world soon. I will seek out your brothers, scattered as they are throughout this pathetic little planet. But first, I must feed and replenish my strength. Only your bioenergy can restore my dark might. But how am I to defeat you in my weakened state? Don't get me wrong, Kevin. I'm really glad we can spend some quality time together. Especially with your father away on his business trip. But I just don't think horror movies are so good for you. <gasps> Out of the car! Now! You too! Move! Just do what he says, Kevin. Just gotta find somewhere to turn into Prime. Cry, Mom. It's just a car. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Ah, Brian, your warrior's spirit is bound in an all too mortal coil. All right for the picking. And I just froze up. I couldn't turn into Prime or anything. Like I'm the most powerful Ultra on the planet, and I can't even protect my own mom from a couple of lousy carjackers. You did the right thing, staying with your mom. Believe me, she needed you a lot more than she needed Prime. Kevin? Don't tie up the phone, okay? I'm waiting to hear from the police. Okay, Mom. Almost through. Huh? Mom! It's Lord Pumpkin! I won't let her down again! Kevin, are you alright? What's going on? Kevin? Prime? This doesn't sound good. It's time to prime the pump! <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. Uh, Ma'am, you're safe now. Get away from me! What did you do to my house? <laughs> you're mine, Orange Boy! 
heaven? Where are you? All right, pulp for brains, I'm gonna pound you into pumpkin pie! <laughs> My son, I swear, if you hurt him... Uh-oh. Mom's having a fit. I better act fast before things get out of hand. It's okay, Mom. I'm out here. Where were you? What happened to you? Sorry. I fell into the pool when Prime crashed into the yard. I never want to hear another word about Prime or any of those other Ultras. Do you hear me? Sure, Mom. Whatever. Better hurry up and get rid of that... Who? <clears throat> no sign of Lord Pumpkin. Oh, I just hope I'm not too late. Yes. This is Ruth Green at 3319 Sycamore. I've just been harassed by an... Ultra. Mom? She's okay, kid. She just fainted. You always shower with your clothes on? Man, what a weird morning. First Lord Pumpkin shows up on my lawn, then he vanishes into thin air. Then my prime goop disappears! Listen, you're probably still shook up from that carjacking. But, but, but I'm telling you- Take my advice. Get some rest. I know what I saw. Now Mom's afraid to leave the house. And Prime just makes things worse. That one? Don't turn around. I told you not to turn around! Fire people! Gotta find a place to prime up! They're everywhere! <laughs> Let's see how funny you think this is! break for this important news bulletin. Hey, wait a minute. What's that? Hi in the sky coming to you live at a Canoga Park shopping mall, where the ultra known as Prime has been on a rampage. Here we go again. We're gonna try and swing around now to get you a better shot. There he is! This, this is true! Let's force it! You could mess with Prime, didn't you, lizard breath? Set it down, Primate. Nice and easy. Don't try this at home, kids. Take it easy, Prime. Why don't you just tell me what's going on here? You! Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back.
Thanks for running interference, big guy. Anytime, kid. I don't know who you are, but you just made Prime mad! So it's you. I'm gonna enjoy this. All right, steroid brain. Now that we got your attention. Oh no, I'm starting to deprime. Wait, get back here. Proto, over here. We still got people trapped inside that part of structure. I'll handle Prime. We're about to get a whole new meaning to the word Fender Bender. No, no. Too many villains to fight. Oh! 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 Dr. Gross! No! Leave me alone! You're seeing things, kid. But how did... You were just... But what about Enemy? And Adelon? And the fire people! They're all... In your head. Someone or something must be making you hallucinate. Then let me at him. I just gotta prime up and... No! As long as you can't trust your eyes, we can't trust you. Look at the damage Prime did. This kind of stuff sets back all Ultras. I just want Prime to be a hero. Now he's a bigger threat than any Ultra villain. Come on, kid. Let's take you home. I swear, I'll never turn into Prime ever again! Well, at least not till we figure out who's booking you on these head trips. At last! Sustenance! I grow stronger! The Prime Essence courses through my veins. Still... This is but a mere morsel. Am I ready to take on the full banquet? The mighty Prime himself? That's the last of them. Now, to find Prime. I thought I saw Hardcase heading this way. Defeating you will provide an excellent gauge of my strength. Ooh. Sorry, pal. I ain't that kind of prototype. You're still flesh and blood under that armor. Too bad you'll never get to poke your fangs through my cyber suit. Who said anything about fangs? Ah, this is nothing but fusion power. I require bioenergy. My plasma blasters! All right, fat boy. You asked for it. You are beginning to bore me, mortal. Worse still, you delay me from my feast. <laughs> Prepare yourself, Prime. Your life force is about to become mine. This is just great. Now everyone's gonna be afraid of Ultras, and it's all my fault. Why'd I ever have to be Prime in the first place? You've got huh? to protect me, Kevin. You're my only hope. No. Help me, Kevin! Help me! I won't do it. I won't turn into Prime! We'll help, kid. We'll all help. Help destroy you. I don't believe you. You're not real. I won't turn into Prime. Ah, uh, Proto to Hardcase. Do you copy? 
What's up? Rune's back. And he's drained most of my energy. Rune! Of course! The hallucinations, the missing prime goo, it all makes sense. What do you mean? If Rune is strong enough to take you out, then Prime's in real danger. Meet me at 3319 Sycamore, and hurry! You're not real. You're not real! Kevin? Are you alright? Just having a nightmare, Mom. I I'm fine now. My poor baby. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom! It can't hurt you! It's not <laughs> real! Not this time. Child. <laughs> Wait a minute! If she sees Rune, then it must be real! And only Prime can save her! Wait, kid! Don't do it! That's just what he wants. To feed on your Prime energy. He's been absorbing your leftover goop all this time! Then you need Prime more than ever! Don't you get it, kid? He's strong enough now to suck the life out of Prime in his Prime! That's why you've got to stay here! Me and Frodo will handle room. Silence, woman! You are merely the bait, not the catch. Well, I'm the game warden, and you've just caught your limit. Let go of the lady, otherwise we all crash. Fool! You merely wet my appetite. Oh. I'll be all right. Just get them for me, will ya? Enough of these distractions. Where is Pride? That's for messing with my friend. And this is for messing with... Us! No! Ugh. Uh... Me. Ah! If Prime will not come to me, then I will come to Prime. Put her down! It's me you want! I want Prime, not some weak, pathetic child! Prime's not coming! Very well. I'll take this one's life force instead. You're helpless to save her, boy. Just like the car, Jackie. But Prime, he is a hero. Only he can save your mother. Only Prime. Only Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your pitiful attempt at bravery, child? How amusing. Perhaps you need more motivation to summon Prime. I'm through playing with you, boy. I want Prime, and I want him now! Finally, my prime cut of bioenergy has arrived. <laughs> Aren't you going to have a little trouble defeating me without this? No, but how? Kevin grabbed your little rock when you weren't looking. Not bad for a weak, pathetic child. Somehow I still can't believe that's the last of him. You did it, Prime. You saved your mom. No. Kevin did it. What I don't get is how you knew to come to this house. Prime told me this was the first place he started having those hallucinations. So I figured Rune had to be based here. Yeah, right. You see, this Kevin kid, he, uh, he found the red runestone on a field trip in the desert and, uh, th that obviously lured Rune to his house. No need to get excited, big guy. I was just curious. Race you back to Malibu. Thanks for covering for me. Don't mention it, kid. Uh, one more thing. There. Good as new. I don't know how to thank you two. Think nothing of it, man. 
I just wish my son could be here to see this. Sorry we can't stay. We've got a shopping mall to repair. Maybe ultras aren't so bad after all. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. This is not Eos. What manner of magic has brought Boneyard here? And what is this strange realm? Ah! Why are these energy beams, these cries for help, being sent to that small planet? Such power! Such energy! My magic shall increase a thousandfold! With this strength, Boneyard shall claim dominion over this universe! Beginning with that beautiful pearl hanging before me, I must seek out the source of this incredible energy. Can it be? This thing is actually alive? Erica, you can't be serious about leaving me for my twin cousin. You don't know him like I do, Erica. He's evil. Right down to the bone. <laughs> What? What's happened to me? That sound... Like a thousand cries for help. But from where? What can it mean? I was an Ultra. 
fighting crime alongside the other members of the squad who were created the same way I was. And it happened just like that. You never wondered where that lightning came from? No, but suddenly it feels like the most important thing in my life. I have to know what made me an Ultra. Replenish me with your power. Cry not, precious creature. You are serving a higher cause. So, this entity continues to signal that planet. I must discover who it is trying to contact and why. NASA's spokesman said that it would take weeks to prepare a shuttle to investigate the mysterious flashes emanating from the moon. But in a surprise development, Ultratech spokesman Stanley Leland announced today that his company is preparing the first ever private space shuttle launch to study the phenomenon. The flashes are believed to be related to an unexplained blue lightning bolt that struck a San Francisco cable car exactly one year ago. This is too freaky. Like when I was in that cable car that got hit by lightning. Hey, Leon. You got my cigarette money? Don't you know they stunt your growth? Hey, hey man. Just chill, okay? Ah! <laughs> Do that. Ah, this buzzing in my head. It's the same weird feeling that I had the time I got zapped in that stupid cable car. I'm telling you, Hugh, the bus was gone. And there was just this big puddle. And you think this is where it all started? I haven't felt right since we were on that cable car. Well, I was there too. How come I wasn't affected? Maybe you were. Don't you ever wonder why we always wind up back here at this exact spot? Excuse me, weren't both of you on that cable car with me? Hey, don't I know you people? Cable car, right? This is like a family reunion, only without all the screaming. But what could be drawing us all back here at just the same time? You see that shuttle, Jimmy? The launching is going to be the biggest event in Ultratech's history. And as our mascot, you are going to be here for it. I got better things to do than hang around waiting for photo ops. Who gave you that armor? Who signs your paycheck? If you won't play ball, I'll just have to put someone in that suit who will. You think you can find a better prototype? We've got 20 recruits just waiting to fill those jet boots. Fine. I'm out of here. I have been trapped on this upside-down, male-dominated world for months now. You pledged to help find a way to return me to my people on Gwendor. And I will, Topaz, just as soon as I finish analyzing these readings from the moon. Oh, your endless delays are an unconscionable breach of honor. Cool your jets, your highness. Who says she's stalling? About a year ago, a freak bolt of lightning hit San Francisco. And why should this concern me? The readings suggest this event may be related to the portal that snagged you here from Gwendor. How about we have ourselves a little field trip? Every time I come near this corner, I feel this strange power surging through me. What kind of power? <gasps> Oh, did that come out of me? What's happening to us? How could you just walk out on being prototype? Do I look like I want to talk about it? This is fame and fortune. 
and adventure and girls. You want to give me a hand here, Case? Mm. What? Uh-oh. Surf's up. You should be fine up here. I'm not used to being the one who needs saving. Yeah, I can see why Jimmy wants to give this up. I need that battle suit, Leland, right away. I'm well aware of the situation, Mr. Ruiz. By the time we get it to you, the disaster will be over. I followed the entity's signal to this very spot. But why has it... Of course! This world possesses beings of great power. It must think they can stop me. I cannot allow them to impede my quest for absolute supremacy. Prime, oh. I need you to help Ghoul and Topaz with an ultra-related disturbance in San Francisco. I'm kind of busy here. The tidal waves are dying down. Hardcase can handle it. You're the boss. Is this the one the entity was trying to reach? No! You're flamed. It's causing those vines to grow. Can't you stop it? Hey, I've changed colors. Oh, now you're too hot to handle. Check it out! I'm flying! We must stop them before innocent people are hurt! Whoa! Hey! If you've hurt that boy... You're about to get a primer in etiquette! The red flame's making him strong enough to take on Prime! I don't know who you people are, but clearly you must be stopped! First of all, you started this fight! And secondly, you've got feet of clay. These foolish creatures fight amongst themselves. How odd. My prime shell, it's breaking up. Try to get away while I still can. Too late. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. I can't believe I survived that. Who are those people? Careful, lady. I'd be hurt if I wasn't fresh out of the grave. Hey. Nah! I cannot allow you to harm innocent bystanders. What are you talking about? We don't want to hurt anybody. Nah! Your mother and I need to talk about your flaming temper. Nah! This isn't humiliating at all. Looks like our buddies used the confusion to give us the slip. Then let us return to Contrary's ship. Her computers may help us determine their whereabouts, as well as what happened to Prime. Is it my imagination, or is that a star in the center of the moon? These beings are too powerful and numerous for me to destroy alone. Clearly, I shall require a vassal to accomplish my goals.
perfect. Absolutely perfect. What could have caused those tidal waves? Aren't the tides caused by the moon? Ordinary tides, yeah. But tidal waves have nothing to do with the moon. Of course. Party case! Where are you going? I'm glad we got out of there before we hurt somebody. Yeah. Now we've got these freaky powers, it'd be nice if we could actually control them. Or at least find out why they were given to us by... By the moon? How is it that we all seem to know that? I don't get it. One minute we're a bunch of strangers, and then all of a sudden we're, we're fighting Ultra Force. Ultra Force versus the strangers. I like the sound of that. Great. Now how are we strangers supposed to get to the moon? Hey! What are you doing, man? These disturbances are happening all over the globe simultaneously. You think they're all related to that glow on the moon? And those ultra-powered beings we fought in San Francisco? Based on the evidence linking them all, I'd have to say yes. Can I help you? Is this where you keep your space shuttles? Shh! Step out of the van, please, very slowly. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. There she blows! Proper! We got us a shuttle! Watch out, kid! Oh. I'm willing to bet my SAG card that you were all struck by lightning, got ultra powers, and are just as obsessed with getting to the moon as I am. So let's solve this mystery together. Yo, hard case, man. Shouldn't we be asking permission or something? Me? I've got global catastrophes to avert. You want to stay behind and ask? Be my guest. I can dig it. They leave us no choice but to take drastic, painful measures. Yeah? I've decided to give you another chance as prototype. This wouldn't be about a stolen space shuttle, would it? We're counting on you and Ultra Force to bring it back, son. Me? Sounds more like a job for one of your new recruits. This is no time for games, Ruiz. How does a raise, a bonus, and a weekend Grand Cayman sound? It sounds like a good start, Stan, my man. Prime here. We need you immediately. I'll uh, fly up right away. There isn't time. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. I mean, what's the situation? I'll tell you the situation, muscle brain. We're going to the moon to retrieve some stolen property. Then, I'm going to the Caribbean and working on my tank. This is about more than a stolen space shuttle. Something up there is threatening the entire globe, and we need to find out what it is. Even though you renege on your word, I cannot turn my back on an ally. I appreciate the gesture. So how do the rest of you clowns expect to survive in space? I've already taken that into consideration. Why would a dead guy like me need a spacesuit? Are you familiar with the term explosive decompression? It's alive? Looks like you don't have much in common. <laughs> it appears to be incompatible with your unique organic structure. Appears to be? You've shifted your appearance before. Perhaps, if you concentrate, you can transform into a version that can survive in space. No mouth, huh? Now that's what I call an improvement. Since you're all so sure you want to become Ultra Heroes, the first order of business is coming up with code names. Well, based on my explosive talents, you can call me Grenade. Trey Swank, Bob. Don't even. I spent years refining my look. Just call me Zip Zap. I'm Electrocute. You don't have to tell me twice. And you can call me Spectral. Atom Bob, at your service. Well, 
you come up with a better name for me? Brace yourselves, we're going in. Yo, hard guy! You never considered going to traffic school? You know what they say, kid. Any landing you can walk away from? Don't be so sure! Hull breach! We're losing air fast! <laughs> Spectral! Change colors! Now! I'm changing! I'm changing! But what good will it... <laughs> Indigo seems to do the trick, but how did you know? I sense that whatever gave us these powers specifically designed us for this mission. It wants us here. Proper! One small step for Leon, one giant leap for... Ah! This gravity thing's gonna take some getting used to. Like myself, you were brought to this asteroid burdened with questions. Allow me to share the answers I have found. Okay, the first order of business is taking back that shuttle. No. First we head for that butte. It appears to be the source of the strange energy readings. And perhaps the key to returning me to my dimension. Stop! No one will harm the entity. Again, we are under attack. Back for a grudge match, or just showing off your new threats? Back off, gruesome. We're not kidding. Neither are we. Oh! Weren't you paying attention? They said no one will harm the entity. Hard case. Not you too. Stand aside, traitor. Sorry, Topaz. I can't let you... Ah! Oh! Don't know your own strength, do you, big guy? Hmm. Wait, kid! You don't wanna... Ah! Oh, what's in there? Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Touching the remote. Amazing adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing adventures will be right back. Previously on Ultra Force. Can it be this thing is actually alive? With this strength, Boneyard shall claim dominion over this universe. What? 
What's happened to me? That sound like a thousand cries for help, but from where? You never wondered where that lightning came from? No, but suddenly it feels like the most important thing in my life. I have to know what made me an Ultra. One minute we're a bunch of strangers, and all of a sudden we're fighting the Ultra for us. You can call me Grenade. Just call me Zip Zap. I'm Electrocute. And you can call me Spectral. Atom Bomb, at your service. I've decided to give you another chance. This wouldn't be about a stolen space shuttle, would it? We're counting on you and Ultra Force to bring it back, son. Stop! No one will harm the entity. Whoa! What's in there? before it destroys Prime. Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we can't let you interfere. No one will harm the entity. You don't understand. Primeval didn't mean any harm. With a name like Primeval? You've got to be joking. It was just trying to protect the entity. Go quickly. Let's find Prime while they're still distracted. I homed in on his comlink signal. Ah! Excellent work, my creation. Now destroy him. Yow! This guy's been taking his vitamins. You serve your master well, Primeval. Do not let him escape. Even Prime himself cannot survive your energy-absorbing powers. Excellent! Prime is finished! Now destroy the others! trouble keeping myself together. Stop them! They're heading for the entity! Topaz, prototype, listen to me. We don't want to hurt you. But you must stay away from the Entity. Why? What is this Entity? Let me explain. The Strangers and I were all hit by lightning flashes that came from the Entity. That's how we all got our powers. The Entity was calling us here. It created us to protect it. That's still no reason to steal a multi-billion dollar space shuttle. Nor to attack your allies. Someone or something is controlling you. All I know is this shuttle belongs to Ultratech and I'm taking it home. No one leaves the moon until the Keeper of the Entity decrees it so! Wait. If this Entity truly means no harm, why will it not call off the one you call Primeval? Lord Boneyard must be certain the Entity is safe. Boneyard? So he's behind this! We must attack at once! You don't understand. Lord Boneyard is the Keeper of the Entity. Fools! Boneyard is the very personification of evil! He has wreaked havoc countless times in my own dimension! She's not going anywhere! Ah! Ah! Prototype, wait! We have no choice but to take the shuttle! Tell it to Ultratech. I'm just the repo man for this bucket of bolts. Ugh! This bucket of bolts happens to be our ride home. <laughs> Fascinating how a well-placed magic spell can keep all my enemies fighting amongst themselves. 
just so long as they all remain distracted from my true purpose. Oh. Ghoul, are you all right? I'm sensing a strong presence, as if the entire moon was crying out in pain. Could it be this entity everyone's been talking about? Don't know. I've never tried to read a whole moon before. No! Uh, too much information! Too many worlds! I, I can't contain it all! It's all right, Ghoul. Uh, Just ask it what it wants. Okay, Entity. How about the Reader's Digest condensed version of your life story? The Entity's some kind of organic computer, the memory core of a space vessel from a distant world. It crashed here when the moon was still more... Man, this thing's older than George Burns. So it's been stuck up here for millions of years trying to bring help from the Earth. It's been beaming signals that have jumpstart effects on humanity. The Entity's been trying to create Ultra Beings capable of getting to the Moon and helping it complete its mission. It's gathered all this incredible knowledge of the Universe, but doesn't have any place to send it. Knowledge of the Universe? I must see this Entity for myself. Contrary, wait, there's something else you should know. Please don't get up on my account. I much prefer a captive audience. Who are you? And what are you doing to the Entity? You may call me Boneyard. Remember it well, for it is the name of your new lord and master. I serve no master. Oh, but you shall, my dear. You and your entire planet. Observe. By utilizing the power of the Entity, I shall create a breach between your dimension and mine. Once the two worlds are linked, I shall summon my minions. Then I shall rule both worlds! Not if I can help it, Chrome Dome. Just don't give up! Uh, I, uh, let go of me, you filthy male barbarian! Hard case, wait! Don't go too far! I can't maintain your indigo aura! So that's how they survive without spacesuits. You can't win, Prototype! It's three against one! Then I guess it's time we level the playing field. Are you crazy? Let him out! Without Spectre's Indigo Flame to protect them, the others will all suffocate! <laughs> Sorcery is this! So how come you're still staying? I'm an android. I don't need to breathe. Since you kids can't play nice, I just had to separate you. Where'd they go? Never mind them! Boneyard must be stopped! So this is an entity. Who dares interrupt Boneyard? Careful where you fire. We don't want to harm the entity. I'm afraid it's too late for that. My <laughs> evil. What happened to us? Boneyard had you all under a spell. He had you convinced he was the keeper of the entity. 
So how do you know so much, corpse boy? Eh, me and the moon just had us a little heart to heart. It told me Boneyard's been messing with the entity, and this is the result. He's got contrary captive. I've tried to beam her out of there, but there's too much interference. We've got to stop Boneyard before he destroys the Earth. Surrender now, sorcerer. Or face the wrath of the Queen of Gwendor. Perhaps the Queen would prefer to return to her domain. My breach to our dimension is almost complete. Help me open it, and you can return home to Gwendor. No! Keep away from that dimensional breach. Why aid this contrary woman? What has she ever done for you? No, I will not betray my ally. Very well. I shall simply resort to other methods of persuasion. Primeval, attack! Just a few more moments and the dimensional breach will be completed! Uh. All right! Let's slam them, strangers! You mean, let's force it! Sorry, ghoul! You're outnumbered! But not for long. Nice of you to join us, kid. Come forth, my evil minions! Lay waste to these ultras, so your master may rule this dimension! Oh, mama. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing Adventures will be right back. Let's send these monsters back where they came from. Wherever that is. Hey! Ah, uh, let go of me, ugly. Uh, not so fast, Dragon Breath. We're dropping anchor. <laughs> what have you done to my pet? Your spell's broken, Boneyard. You don't control us anymore. No matter. It served its purpose. You may destroy him now, Primeval. What do you know? I can transform magic, too. Put me down! I specifically requested business class! Gotcha, dead guy! Oh, let's head for the cave. Contrary needs our help. Contrary? Cool. Dang, what happened here, lady? It's no use. It, it won't budge. Mind if I try? Your assistance is appreciated. Now to revive our friends. What? Happened. Primeval, attack! Great. This is where we came in. Let's get back to the ship. Hurry! What are we running away for? I have an idea. If we can send the entity back to its home, Boneyard won't be able to control it. But how do we do that? It hasn't moved in over 60 million years. Exactly. I think the entity is programmed not to return home until it transmits its message. So let's give it something to transmit too. Just keep the ship steady and away from that dimensional breach. I've established contact, and we're ready to download. Now. No! I'm losing control over the entity! They'll destroy my dimensional breach! Stop them at once, my creation! The computers are overloading. We're losing control of the ship. Let's 
Let's get these lizards back into that breach before it closes up. Uh. Get along, little doggies. Computer memory's at capacity. We can't complete the download. Prototype, we need to borrow your suit's computer system. I'm a little busy at the moment. Just move over to the entity. It knows what to do. Whoa! Contrary! You're overloading my suit's internal memory chips. Just stay with the entity. We did it. will never defeat Boneyard! Maybe not. But we can send you back home. Ah! That's right! Let's force you! Looks like everything's cleared up back home. You'd think it could at least say thank you. That's right, Leland. Your shuttle's coming home. But on one condition, you drop all charges against the strangers. Never! Come on, Stan. It'll be great PR for the company, considering they just helped save the world. Otherwise, we'll just thumb a ride with Contrary, and you can send up a tow truck. <sighs> he want the brass band or the ticker tape parade? I thought you'd see things my way. Where's Ultra Force? The deal was you all do this photo op together. Aren't they right behind us? Does the ship feel sluggish to you? I'm reading an exterior drag pulling us 20 degrees off course. I can't stabilize! Hang on, kid! That's contrary ship! Get the computer! Let's get out of here, now! No! It's storing the Entity's message. We'll lose untold knowledge. We'll lose a lot more than knowledge if we stay here. Couldn't you have at least set coordinates for the ground? Feels good to talk again. Now those bad boys know how to drop in with style. So what happened down there, kid? I don't know. The entity sent me some kind of message. I think it was thank you. If only we could have saved the information the entity gathered. Well, we didn't lose all of it. So... Do you regret losing your opportunity to go home? Destiny has brought me to this misbegotten world. I must accept it. Still, I couldn't ask for a better group of warriors to share my fate. That's right. We're an ultra force to be reckoned with. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing adventures will be right back. Don't even think of touching the remote. Amazing adventures will be right back.